What is up, my camera crew? We are back here yet again in DaVinci Resolve 17 with another tutorial. And yes, guys, I've been getting, and ladies, I've been getting a lot of questions. This is a sock. It's a sock. It's my homemade pop filter, but you know what? It does the trick and I like it. Anyways, today we're going to be going over my favorite plugin for DaVinci Resolve when it comes to color grading. Now this will legitimately take your color grading to a whole new level. It is going to help you achieve that quote unquote filmic look that is so chased after and sought after in cinema. You see it time and time again in movies. This one plugin, Dehancer, is what it is called, is going to help you achieve this look in so many different ways, like from halation to bloom to using different film prints and film negatives. This this thing is super, super powerful, and uh, it's amazing. I love it. I love everything about it. And uh, let's just get into DaVinci, and let's go over it. I'll show you how to use it and uh, why it's so freaking incredible. So let's go. Whoa. All right, so we are here in... DaVinci Resolve. So we're going to come over to our color tab and we're going to turn all this off because we don't need it just yet. All right. So now we have our clip. We have our nodes. Let's go ahead and create like, I don't know, say five nodes by holding Alt S and just hit that five times. These two are going to be used for other things. You know what? And let's create a few more and we're going to bring that down just like that. So now that we have our node tree made out, we're going to come over to open effects and once you download this um it will be it'll just automatically go into your open effects your ofx you scroll all the way down to the bottom in dehancer pro this is absolutely game changing guys i'm telling you right now just drag it in and put it on the very last node you always want to put it on the last node of your pipeline here because that way you can make changes and all those changes won't affect what the dehancer has done it'll all be done before dehancer so with that being said let's start playing with dehancer so if we look over here if you ever use a color space transform you can pretty much select your input right now i have rec 709 but i know this was shot in we're going to go choose color camera and we're going to go vendor i know it was shot with a red we're going to do it was shot with the komodo 6k Format IPP2 and right then and there see how this changes this to rec 709 and Honestly, this was a great looking image just like this However, I don't want it to be this way Like I don't want to work in a rec 709 off of this for me. I always like to keep it on rec 709 I don't like to convert it with Dehancer sometimes I do a color space transform I know that's the proper way to do it. A lot of times I just kind of, I'll show you my workflow with this. It is uh, it is a little bit different, but it is quite uh, fun to do. Right right away you also have your temperature and tint, um, temperature control, tint control, defringe. I don't really mess with that too much. Defringe radius, I don't really mess with that as well. Um, your film. So this is where you get to pick which film you get to choose. So there is so many different versions of uh we got you know the agva we got fuji film we got kodaks i mean there's so many to choose from and we'll go through them in a moment however i like to let's just go over everything and then we'll come back and we'll show uh my workflow with dehancer and how i achieve looks with dehancer so here's expand you can uh, control your black points kind of like control and contrast same with the white point you can do that and print there's a few different print uh, choices you can do. You can do Cineon Log Film or you can do Kodak 2383. That is the most common print that you can do. I uh, I think they'll be coming out with a couple more here and there. I'm, I'd assume they're going to constantly be updating this, but right now I always use 2383 Film. And, and we come down here, Color Head, you can change. This is like printer lights, essentially. If you want to change the red values, the green values, all of that, you can do that right there. And you can do, here's a film grain. The film grain in Dehancer is extremely powerful. It is very uh, aggressive as well too. So it looks super natural and it looks really, really good. I love the film grain in Dehancer. But just as you can see, if you just hit enable, 
and Abel. It's a pretty strong, it's a pretty strong uh, film grain. So I always bring that amount quite a bit down. But depending on the look you're trying to achieve, you might want some really very intense film grain. But you can also enable and disable that. And we come over here to Hellation. Now this is an incredible, incredible plugin. And I know that DaVinci Resolve came out with their own version of this, but the enhancer is just, just a little bit better. You know, dehancer, come on, man. Get on the get on the dehancer game. All right. Anyways, you can hit mask mode. And this is going to show you what your uh, the halation is being affected here. Now, there's not a whole lot of highlights in my image, so I doubt that we're really going to be able to get anything. But just kind of slide these uh, sliders around. You can adjust all different types of... Uh, you know, aspects of your halation. And if you want me to go into halation a little bit more on another clip that has like a lot of highlights, let me know. And I definitely will, but this one doesn't have enough to really uh, make anything happen. So we're not going to enable that. And then here is bloom. And I absolutely freaking love bloom and we'll come back to this. There's another mask mode and I'll show you how that it works. Once we create our look, we'll be able to actually play with the bloom. So we're going to disable that for right now. And then vignette, uh, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Very uh, subtle vignettes. I love the vignette in Dehancer. It is a very uh, natural way to make like a vignette happen. And then they also have Film Breath and Gate Weave. And these are two things that like, um, you know, real film will happen, like have happened within them. And I don't ever really use them, but they are there if you uh, want to use them. If, and like I said, I'm not going to go over... Every single aspect of Dehancer, I'm going to show you how I use it and why I freaking love it so much. So if it's something you want to see, like a huge in-depth breakdown on Dehancer, let me know in the comments below. And I will let you know every aspect of this. However, don't really use that. They do have false colors, which is really cool. You can see, uh, you know, what's overexposed, underexposed. And then output, you can, this is kind of like your global blend. And you can generate LUTs. Now, obviously, certain parts of this, like bloom, uh, halation, grain, all that won't be in the LUT, but the actual look will be there, which is kind of nice. You can throw it on your monitors uh, that you're filming. So if you want to create a look before you go out and film, you can do so. Put that on your uh, you know, external monitor and see and expose properly for your uh, scene. However, let's get into creating a look with Dehancer. So first thing I want to do is just add a little bit of contrast to my image just by using the lift gamma and gain you know like open it up like that we're gonna add a ton of saturation because this is super flat I'm literally going to add two nodes of saturation because I know I'm gonna need it one thing I've noticed with Dehancer is you need some saturation all right now we'll come over to the Dehancer plugin and we're gonna start going through all of these film prints and like I said I always make sure that I am on print 2383 and um, let's go through all these film the film looks so here I mean we can just scroll through and just look and see which ones we like I mean there's so many to pick from that look legitimately really cool there's a couple black and white options I mean it is the the way these look is absolutely incredible so we're just going to keep scrolling through and kind of give you a little preview I really like this Fuji uh, Fuji Color Pro 400H but I think I'm going to use a Kodak because I used a Kodak on this one earlier. So here we go. Some black and whites. Kodak Color Plus looks really cool. Ektar looks really neat. Let's keep going and see what we got here. I think I think we're going to go with... Oh, that Pro Image 100 looks real nice too. But let's go back up to this oh, Ektar or yeah, Ektar 100, we're going to use this. So now that we have our image, like the color where we want it, this is when we can now create looks upon the already the look that's already there. So if we want to and come to our node six, we can, you know, add a little warmth to our height, like our, add some warmth to the gain. I'm going to add a little more saturation to this. Come back to node three. And if I was really creating like a deep, deep dive, like into a color grade, I would label all these nodes and, you know, we'd get way more intense. But I'm just trying to show you a quick way of using Dehancer and a quick way that you can, uh, 
utilize this to uh, increase your workflow and also like make some really cool looks super easy. So, all right, so now let's come over here, add a little more warmth to the highlights. All right, so now I really wanna make sure his jacket is pretty true to black. So we're just gonna remove some of the red that is in his jacket. We're gonna add some blue or subtract some blue from down there. Subtract a little bit of green. And right there, that's looking pretty darn good right there. I'm loving it. We'll get rid of these scopes. And now we can come down to our exposure again. And let's crush these shadows just a little bit. Just to make it a little bit darker. And if we scroll through, I mean, that's looking pretty darn good just right then and there. If we hit before and after, I mean, come on. And I noticed that it's a little bit too sharp. So what we can do from there is just hit Alt S after that, and we can now come to our log wheels, hit that mid-tone detail, just bring it down a little bit, and that's gonna soften up those uh, skin tones just a little bit, kind of remove some of the sharpness from all of that. And if you have the paid version, another thing that works really good to clean up your images is going to be coming to your noise reduction, hit better, we can crank that all the way up to about six, take that off, maybe about 6.4. And that's going to just clean that image up just even more. So, I mean, that is just a really fast way you can utilize Dehancer in your uh, workflow to get these really cool film like looks. I mean, ab these are absolutely insane. It's so cool what you can do with this. I've used it on a whole bunch of music videos that have color graded and shot. And uh, this is just an incredible and powerful tool to bring your color grading to a whole different level when it comes to uh, chasing that film look. It's freaking insane what this thing can do. And you know what? We'll, uh, let's come back to the, our image real quick. I forgot to show you this. If we want to come down to our bloom, we're going to enable our bloom, enable mask mode. See, now you can kind of see this very subtle outline that is what's being uh, bloomed out so we can have our impact go up we can have our source limiter we're gonna have detail diffusion if we come right down it's gonna be less diffusion we want as much diffusion as possible we're gonna amplify it take our mask mode off I mean look at that right there that looks so good it just looks so natural and real and filmic as they would say but no this is an amazing an amazing tool it can um help you in many many ways so i will put a link of, uh, to dehancer in my description if y'all want to try it out you got i think you can get um a trial period with it check it out it'll bring your color grading to a whole other level and i want that for the camera crew i want nothing but the best for y'all also Make sure you guys are subscribing. We're trying to smash the goal of 10,000 subs by August. You know, we're making some dang good progress. So let's just keep it going. You know what? Become a part of the sock gang. Let's go. You know, the camera crew is here. We're taking over YouTube slowly but surely. We, we ain't going nowhere. So subscribe, follow along. Get Dehancer. Freaking take your, sh take your videos to a whole nother level. And I love each and every one of y'all, and I'm going to catch you in the next one.